This is an applications presentation of laser astrography being used for aerospace entity inspections. This presentation includes applications of coatings, specifically bonded components, and felt metal seals. Here is an overview of coating and felt metal seals applications. Applications A to E are all examples of coatings, specifically top laid materials bonded to a substrate. For these examples, we have cork bonded, for example, to glass fiber reinforced plastic, to metal, to CFRP laminate, and rubber bonded to metal. Application F is that of a felt metal seal, which is an abradable component. This application is of cork bonded to glass fiber reinforced plastic. The test object size is 250 millimeters by 250 millimeters, and the inspection technique used was vacuum ambient excitation with a pressure jump from zero to five kilopascals. The duration of this inspection took approximately four seconds, yielding an inspection rate of 1.5 meters square per minute. As can be seen from the phase map, there is one indication of a central disc bond between the cork and glass fiber laminate. This application was cork bonded to a metallic component. The test object size was 150 by 150 millimeters, and the test method used for the inspection was vacuum ambient excitation using a pressure jump from zero to 200 millibar. There are multiple indications also marked out on the top layer of the cork sample. All these indications were detected and found using laser spherography. This application was of cork bonded to an aluminium plate. The top cork had a thickness of 8 millimeters and the bottom aluminium plate a thickness of 3 millimeters. The test object size was 350 by 100 millimeters. Using vacuum ambient excitation with a pressure jump from 0 to 15 kilopascals, the two phase maps on the right hand side were generated. Both phase maps correspond well to the actual referenced defects that were labelled on the rear side of the aluminium plate, including multiple dispons of various widths. It is clear to trace and to correlate the the dispons on the phase map with respect to the reference sample. Using three different pressure levels and three different shear distance sensitivities, the following phase maps can be generated. Notably, an increase in pressure level or an increase in shear distance will increase the density and number of fringes. The next application was a carbon fiber reinforced plastic laminate bonded to a cork understructure. The top carbon fiber reinforced plastic laminate skin was one millimeter in thickness. The cork had a thickness of 15 millimeters. The test object size was 300 by 300 millimeters. Using vacuum ambient excitation from zero to five kilopascals and shear settings of 1.5 and 5 mm shearing. The above phase display images were generated. The cork underlying structure can easily be identifiable in many of the phase map images. There are also indications of multiple disc bonding between the carbon fiber laminate skin and also the cork understructure. Using thermal excitation, with the same setup used before, heat was applied for five seconds. A reference measurement was taken at 10 seconds and snapshot measurements were taken at every second up to 20 seconds. Using two different shear settings of 1.5 millimeters and three millimeters, the above three phase map images were generated, one using heat for generation for five seconds and the other for three seconds. What is clear in all the measurements is that the underlying cork structure is identifiable. Also, there are multiple indications of disbonding, which can also be identified in all of the measurements. This is an application of rubber bonded to a metallic understructure. Using vacuum ambient excitation with a pressure level jump from zero to 200 millibar, the following phase map can be generated. 
This application is of a jet engine compressor. Specifically for laser stratigraphy, the abradable felt metal seals are inspected. Using vibration mechanical excitation, a vibration pulsator applies a vibration load on the jet engine compressor. The felt metal seals, when disbonded or delaminated or even with the kissing bond, then resonates at different frequencies than what the parent structure does. Using a sweep from 0 to 31 kilohertz, this is then visible and identifiable through the changing modal shapes of the isolated defects. This is then imaged using the time average display functionality in Istra 4D. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions or comments regarding the application of laser stratigraphy NET, please contact Dantec Dynamics.